What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, I am doing a pretty little thing haul. I'm also dressed a little bit extra today because I thought I would dress for the occasion. So as New Year's Eve is right around the corner, which by the way, can we just talk about how quickly this year has gone? It's honestly just flown by. So I was basically just looking through my wardrobe, trying to decide what I'm gonna wear for New Year's Eve. And I literally had nothing, literally not a single thing that I thought was appropriate enough for New Year's. So I thought we would do a little shop together and basically just pick up some dresses off a pretty little thing, see what we can find and see if we can find the one. So in the end, I picked up, I think around seven or eight dresses and I spent 267 pounds, which is kind of a lot, but a lot of them are gonna go back because I'm literally just trying them on for you guys and also for myself so I can kind of see and gauge which one I like the best. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and find some inspiration on what to wear for New Year's Eve. But if you guys wanna see what I picked up, then let's get on into the video. Okay. So so the first dress that I picked up is this one right here, which is very sparkly and very glitzy. This actually cost me 40 pounds. This is called the Rose Gold Sequin Chain Choker Mini. So this dress, I'll pop a picture on screen right now, is definitely one of those dresses that I don't usually wear because it's kind of like revealing in the chest area and I'm always really scared that I'm gonna like have an accidental nip slip. I usually stay away from dresses like this, but for some reason I was really drawn to this one on the website. Okay, so for 40 pounds, I don't know if this dress is all that much. It's very thin, like the fabric is super, super thin. It has got nice sequins, which is like kind of like the fabric all over, but I wouldn't really say it's the best quality fabric ever. There's a lot of like chains and weird things going on. It hasn't really got much shape either. It's literally just like a straight down piece of fabric. So wish me luck for this one. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like on. Now I've got to say in the photo, I feel like it looks a lot better on the model than on me. I have to say, I don't really mess around with dresses that have this sort of thing. Like it never sits right on me. I don't know what it is, but it just never works. I never know whether this bit is meant to be a little bit more outside or whether it's meant to be more tucked in like this. I just don't really know how to wear it and it always ends up looking like a bib on me. Also, this is what the back looks like and it has a lot of like excess fabric which I feel like should be a lot more cinched in so that it fits nicely around the waist. I do like the fact that it is completely backless. I feel like that looks really pretty. Um, however, I just don't really know if I like this sort of situation at the top. I feel like if this actually sat properly on me and I wasn't really so bothered about this whole top portion of the dress, this would be such a pretty dress for New Year's Eve. I love the color. You guys know how I feel about gold and rose gold and copper and that kind of thing. It is still a really pretty dress. I do wish it had kind of a more of a cinched in shape like this. However, it's not the end of the world. Also, it does come with like a super, super long chain, which you're meant to just like wrap around your neck. However, I don't really know if I like that. I think it just ruins it a little bit, so I'm actually gonna keep it off, but it is there if you want it. For 40 pounds, I've gotta say it's not the worst dress out there. However, it's probably not the one for me, so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. Now, the next dress that I picked up is this one right here. It's very like sequiny and really pretty. I really wanted to pick up a red dress because I feel like it's such a Christmassy sort of color and I just don't really wear red enough, so I really wanted to give it a go and this is what the dress looks like. It is so pretty and so extra. So it's kind of got like the top half, then it's got like a middle panel, which is actually kind of see-through. It's got like a lace aspect to it. And then the bottom is just bodycon with again, the sequins and the lace all over it. It has also got a really long zipper at the back, which is great. Now this dress was actually 40 pounds, which I probably would actually pay 40 pounds for this without really blinking much because I feel like this quality is a lot better than the previous one. It just feels a lot thicker, a lot more sturdier, and I really, really love this, and I feel like you can't actually get a dress like this in many places. But with that being said, I am really excited to try this one, so let's pop her on and see how she looks. Okay, this is the next dress. This is so pretty. I honestly am in love with the color, with the shape. I think it's so cute. Right off the bat, the only thing I noticed about this dress that I'm not really liking too much is the fact that the sides of like this top portion is quite wide, and I feel like it is definitely designed for someone who has slightly bigger boobs than me. Now that's not to say that I can't make this dress work because I still think it's really, really cute. However, I never really like it when dresses have so much excess fabric around like the armpit sort of area. So for that reason, I'm a little bit disappointed 
disappointed. However, it is still a super, super pretty dress. This is what it looks like on. I think it's so nice. I absolutely love this see-through panel going kind of like through the rib cage sort of area. I think it's so pretty. Personally, I feel like the top half of this dress, like meaning this section could be designed a little bit better just because it's very like long and it just kind of makes your boobs look like they're really long and thin, which is kind of weird. And I mean, I could pull this dress down a little bit, but then this part here will just be so far down and like my boobs start here. So it just would be way too weird. Oh, and by the way, this thing isn't actually part of the dress. If you guys didn't know, they kind of just keep this on so that you can't like wear it out and then return it. But yeah, overall, I do really like this. I think it's a really pretty color. I love the sequin. I think it's perfect for a Christmas or New Year's Eve party. So I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up. Okay, so for the next dress, we have this one right here, which is actually just like a ribbed brown dress. It's not really too like sparkly or New Year's eve e, <laughs> but I just feel like it's a really nice going out sort of dress. This dress is literally so simple. It's literally just a strapless bodycon sort of dress. I just thought this looked really beautiful on the model. I just felt like it really complemented her figure. So I feel like maybe this could work for me. So let's try it on and see how it looks. So this is the next dress. It is, like I said, a very, very simple, very plain. However, I just love the shape and cut of it. I kind of like that it's sort of like a bustier, so it doesn't like cover up fully all the way up here. I think it just looks very feminine and flattering, which I definitely really like. I love the color and how it fits. It's definitely a very stretchy fabric as well, so it's very comfortable to wear. I think with like a really nice necklace and maybe some heels, this would be a really nice outfit for New Year's Eve or just any party in general. So I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up. Okay, so the next dress is actually quite an interesting one. It's definitely kind of out there for me and not really my personal style. However, I love picking up things that I personally wouldn't necessarily wear, but I like. Just because it's not my style doesn't mean that some of you guys won't like it. So I picked up this one right here, which is a white dress and it looked really cool on the model. So it's actually just only got one sleeve. Um, I usually think that that's weird. However, with this dress, because it's got this really nice embellishing kind of like all the way on this side. I just felt like it really worked. This one, and also it's quite asymmetrical on the end. It hasn't got like a straight hem. It's kind of like a little bit diagonal. So I just thought that's kind of cool. And I also like the fact that it's very like high neck. I think that's really pretty. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like this 100%, but that's what this video is about. So let's try it on and see how it looks. Ooh, we have a little bit of leg action going on. I love that. This dress is honestly so, so beautiful. I love how like oriental it looks. I feel like when they made this dress, they definitely had like Japanese fashion in mind because it really kind of gives me like Japanese vibes. I love this embroidery here and also the slit and just all around the aesthetic of this dress. I think it's so unique. I've got to say the sleeve is slightly annoying me because it is just a tad too long, but you could always like roll it up. I don't know. Does that kind of ruin it? I guess it looks a little bit better and you can't really tell that much. This dress is honestly so, so beautiful. I probably actually wouldn't wear this for New Year's Eve. However, if I did have some sort of occasion to wear this too, I definitely would. But if you're just going to like a party, then perhaps this is a bit too far. Formal. I've got to say, I actually feel really, really sassy in this. I think this dress is pretty feminine and like boss lady as well, all in one. So we've got the whole package, you guys. We've got the whole package. I am gonna give this one a big thumbs up. I think it's really unique. I haven't seen many dresses like this online, so I am really digging it. We then have another slightly strange dress. I picked up another off the shoulder dress with one sleeve, but this one looks like this. It is so hard to show because it's so sparkly, but it's basically pure jet black with lots of black sequins all over it. This one is again quite bodycon. It's not too long and I just really liked this on the model. So let's see if I can rock it and how I like this. So this is the next one. Am I blinding you guys or what? Look how sparkly this dress is. It's so cool. I love this dress. I would totally wear this to a New Year's Eve party. I think it's so appropriate. I just look like a night sky with the glistening stars and fireworks all over it. The only thing I wish that I did in this dress is actually got it a size a down because it is a sort of baggy like around the sides. I did get this in my usual size, which is size eight. However, I feel like I probably should have sized down to size six. And then I feel like this dress would have fit me a lot better, but even so, it still looks really, really great. Out of the dresses I've tried so far, I would probably recommend this one the most because I actually really like the quality of it. I think it's really pretty for New Year's and I just love, love the sparkles. So I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up. You know what? This dress might actually be the one. I might have a tough choice at the end of this video. Okay, so the next 
dress is another extra little red moment. This has honestly got to be one of the most extra dresses I've ever tried on on this channel. So I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it as well, to be honest. It just looked amazing on the model. So this dress cost 50 pounds. It kind of is hard to show, but it's got this sort of top. And then on each side, it's got like a cutout for like your side. The way it's cut, it's mostly probably gonna show the rib. So I feel like that's still quite flattering. And it is a very, very long dress. It goes probably all the way down to the floor. And it has got a slit, which is again, so extra for a dress. I honestly just loved how sparkly and sequiny this is. And I love the color. So again, 50 pounds, I guess, is still quite pricey. But for a dress this long and this bougie, I just had to pick it up, you know? We're gonna try it on. I'm gonna see if it fits. Oh my God. Who is she? Who is she? This dress is actually incredible. I feel like I just fell in love. It is so cute. Like literally these cuts are absolutely amazing. They're so flattering. They give you like the illusion of like a really small waist, which I love. The sequins though. Can we just talk about the sequins? They are amazing. I love this color. And look how pretty it looks with the studio lights. I am done. I am done. Honestly, if I had like a super, super extra party to go to this year for New Year's, I would 100% be wearing this baby. You know those dresses where you put it on and you feel like you've snapped because this is honestly one of them. I'm obsessed with this. I can't stop looking at it in the mirror. It is so so pretty. Okay, so this is what the full dress looks like. It is super long, like I said. It goes all the way down to the floor and it's just so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I think it's needless to say I'm giving this one a massive thumbs up. I... I'm honestly quite shook at how much I love this dress. Okay, and the last dress I'm gonna try on for you guys today is this one. This is basically like a silky red sort of dress. I really had hopes for this one. However, it looks very creased and I'm so scared to iron fabrics like this because I don't want to burn it. Now this dress was actually only 18 pounds, which is a little bit less expensive than the previous ones we've tried. However, rightfully so because there's not really much to it. It's literally just a satin sort of red dress. I've got to say on the model, this one looked quite cute. It had like some shape to it. However, this one literally just looks like it's going to go straight down and make me look like a box. But we're going to see so let's pop her on okay i've got to give it a pretty little thing on this one with a little bit of ironing this actually would look quite nice and now that i've got it on it has stretched out a lot and it doesn't look as baggy and to be fair it actually does fit pretty well around like the waist and the hips so if you were gonna get this dress i definitely would keep in mind that you would probably have to iron it because it does come with quite a few creases when it gets shipped to you but i think it's really pretty i actually really really like it so i'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up but those were all of the dresses is for New Year's Eve that I'm gonna try on for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some little inspo. I honestly feel like the one for me will be one of the red ones. But let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite down below. And if you would purchase them, I will have all of the links in the description in case you guys wanna check them out for yourself. And also in the comments, let me know what are your plans for New Year's Eve. I don't usually have any plans and I don't really know what I'm gonna do this year. However, I really don't just wanna sit at home because I usually just sit at home and watch Netflix. That's right, I admit it. I'm a grandma. Anyways, that is all for this video. If you guys haven't followed me already on my social media, make sure you do. It's just at Roxoras on Twitter and Instagram. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos. I post twice a week, but that is all from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!